Welcome to the eighth lecture in general topology. The topics that we'll explore in this lecture include a few additional properties of a basis, the interior enclosure of unions and intersections, and some properties of the digital line. Okay, so we'll start with the exercises from the previous lecture. Let the collection script B be the collection of all subsets of the given set X such that a point P is in that subset. Then, the topology generated. By the collection script B is the particular point topology on the set X. So proof. We have already demonstrated. that if a point X is in the intersection of u sub 1 and u sub 2, where u sub i is in the collection script B, then there exists a third element, u sub 3, in the collection script B, such that the point X is in this element, which is a subset of the intersection of u sub 1 and u sub 2. Now let X be a point in the space X, then the set X and P, or containing X and P, is in the collection script B. Now notice that if the point X is the point P, then this is the singleton set containing the point P. Otherwise, it is a two-point set containing the point P and a distinct point X. So for every point in the space, there exists an element, u sub x, which is the set containing x and p, which is in the collection script B, such that the point x is in this element, which is a subset of the space x. And hence, the two conditions for a topology generated by a basis are satisfied by the collection script B. And so the collection script B is a basis for the topology it generates, which we'll call tau subscript B. And this is the set of all subsets V of the space X, such that for every point in the set V, there exists an element u sub i in the collection script B, such that the point X is in this element, which is a subset of the given set V. Now let tau sub P be the particular point topology on the set X with P the particular point. Then for every non-empty set U in this topology, that set U is an element in the collection script B, which is a subset of the topology generated by the collection script B. Further, the empty set is in the topology generated by the collection script B vacuously. And so the topology, tau sub P, the particular point topology, is a subset of the topology generated by the collection script B. Now let the set V be in the topology generated by the collection script V. Then, as that collection script B is a basis for this topology, V is a union of some elements in that collection, where each element, V sub J, is in the topology tau sub P for every choice of index J. 
That is, the set V is a uh, union of sets in the particular point topology. And so the set V is in the particular point topology. And hence, the topology generated by the collection script V is a subset of the particular point topology. And so now we have set inclusion in both directions. And so the topology generated by the collection script B is the particular point topology on the set X. Okay, so we'll state the second exercise as a lemma. Let X together with some topology tau be a topological space. And let the collection script B, consisting of elements B sub I for I and some indexing set I, be a collection of open subsets. of the space X such that that collection is an open cover and if a point is in the intersection of any two of the elements in the collection script B then there exists a third element in the collection script B that contains the point and which is a subset of the intersection of the first two. Then the topology generated by the collection script B is coarser than the given topology tau. So proof. Notice the collection script B is a subset of the topology tau since it is a collection of open sets. And this collection satisfies the two conditions for a topology generated by a basis. And so the collection script B is a basis for the topology that it generates, and we'll call this tau sub script B. And this is the set of all subsets U of X, such that for every point in that set U, there exists an element B sub I in the collection script B, such that the point is in this element, which is a subset of the given set U. So let U be a set in this topology. Then, as the collection script B is a basis for this topology, there exists a subset J of the indexing set I, such that the set U is a union over the index J of the elements B sub J. That is, set U is a union of the elements B sub J, where B sub J is open, that is, is in the topology tau for every choice of index J. So it is a union of uh, sets in the topology, and so the set U is in the topology tau, and hence the topology generated by the collection script B is a subset of the ambient or pre-existing topology tau. 
And so the topology tau is finer than the topology generated by the collection script B, or we can also say that the topology generated by the collection script B is coarser than the topology tau. Okay. So new theorem. Let tau and tau prime be two topologies on the same underlying set. X with bases script B and script B prime respectively if the topology tau is finer than the topo uh, rather if the topology tau prime is finer than the topology tau then for every point and for every element in the collection script B, such that the point X is in that element, there exists an element B prime in the collection script B prime, such that the point X is in this element B prime, which is a subset of the given element B. That is, for every basis element in the coarser topology, and for every point in that basis element, there exists an element B prime in the collection script B prime that contains the point and is a subset of the given element B. So proof. Let X be a point in the uh, space X. Then as the collection script B is a basis for the topology tau, we have that there must exist an element B in the collection script B such that the point X is in this element, which is a subset of the uh, space X. Now notice that this element B, once again, is in the collection script B which is a subset of the topology tau, which is in turn a subset of the topology tau prime. So the element B is open in the space X with the, the topology tau prime. So as script B prime is a basis, For the topology tau prime, we have that for every point in this open set B, there exists an element B prime in the collection script B prime, such that the point X is in this element, which is a subset of the given open set B. And hence, for every point in the space and for every element B in the collection script B that contains the point, there exists an element B prime in the collection script B prime that contains the point and is a subset of the given element B. Okay, so next we will begin to extend our ability to calculate the interior enclosure of subsets in a uh, given topological space. And so first we will prove a lemma. Let X, together with some topology tau, be a topological space. And let A be a subset of B, which is in turn a subset of the space X, then the interior of A is a subset of the interior of B, and the closure of A is a subset of the closure of B. So proof. 
first statement. As the interior of A is a subset of A, and A is a subset of B, we have that the interior of A is a subset of B. That is, the interior of A is an open set contained in the set B. Now since the interior of B is the largest, that is most inclusive open set contained in B, we have that the interior of A is a subset of the interior of B. So second statement, as A is a subset of B and B is a subset of its closure, we have that A is a subset of the closure of B. That is, the closure of B is a closed set containing the set A. Now since the closure of A is the smallest that is most exclusive closed set containing the set A, we have that the closure of A is a subset of the closure of B. Now there is nothing uh, really new with this lemma, uh, but we will be using this argument uh, repeatedly, so rather than uh, going through it every time, we'll just state it as a lemma and have done. 